Grade 6, 2024 edition, Social Studies. Welcome for yet another great Social Studies lesson. Uh, today, I want us to look at, to discuss on the main physical features in Eastern Africa. And uh, today, because in our previous lesson, we saw all those examples of physical features like hills, mountains, valleys, plateaus, plains, just to mention a few. Today, I want us to concentrate in formation of the main physical features of Eastern Africa. And I want us to start with mountains, formation of volcanic mountains. How were the volcanic mountains formed? Volcanic mountains are also called volcanoes. Volcanic mountains are also called volcanoes. volcanoes. And volcanic mountains are formed through a process of volcanicity. Volcanicity. Let us see exactly what happens. The rocks beneath the surface of the earth, down there, deep there, those rocks which are there, down there, we have pure rocks. These rocks within the earth surface are at very high temperatures and pressure. And because of these high temperatures and pressure, these rocks do exist in a molten or semi-solid state. This semi-solid state or material is called magma. Magma. And then, in due course, as time passes by, as time flies, in due course, when a weak point occurs on the Earth's crust, this great pressure beneath the Earth's surface forces the magma now to come out onto the earth surface through a process known as eruption. Now, this hot molten rock that gets to the surface, beneath there, we refer to this magma, but as it comes out of the surface and it starts pouring to form that uh, volcanic mountain, it comes out as lava and it continues pouring and spreading, forming that. And after so many, after several eruptions, we end up having a volcanic mountain. And I want to remind you, this magma comes out through a pathway, through a path known as a vent, V-E-N-T. And sometimes, when it comes out with a lot of force, it can also cause some other minor vents. Some other minor vents, which are known as subsidiary. <coughs> the picture to my side will show you that. So you can see that's how volcanic mountains are formed. And now I want to give you examples of volcanic mountains or volcanoes mountains. These are Mount Kenya in Kenya, Mount Elgon still in Kenya, Mount Longonot here in a country. Then we have Mount Menegai still. All these are exist in Kenya. Now, when we go to Tanzania, we have Mount Kilimanjaro, we have Mount Meru, and then in Rwanda we have Mount Karisimbi, and then and then we have Moroto, eh, Moroto in eh, Uganda. We also have Mufumbiro in Uganda. And when we go to Tanzania again, we have Mount Ngorongoro. And not forgetting, uh, in Sudan, we have Mount Jebel Mara. So, boys and girls, don't forget, today we have looked at the formation of volcanic mountain, which are also known as what? Volcanic. Don't forget, Mafunzo New Curriculum. This is your host, Philip Mwangangi, the teacher who teaches you all these subjects in a style that cannot be compared 
For more details, go to YouTube, Google Mafunzo New Curriculum and get to know and learn more. Other than SST, I also teach Kiswahili. I also teach uh, social studies. I also teach art and craft and many more others. So for now, subscribe, share to colleagues, and so that now we can grow as Mafunzo New Curriculum. In the next lesson, I will be talking about the formation of block mountains. Stay tuned.